Hello everyone. Welcome to part two of my video tutorial on the AMR60. The leads for the elevator and rudder servos need extensions and I like to solder them on. But before I cut the original leads, I want to make sure that the servos actually work. And that looks fine. If you buy the power combo with the servos, you will also find these very thin, very high quality leads. Actually, funnily enough, they're, they're from Germany, I believe. There are different methods of how to remove the insulation at the end of the cable. I just use a very sharp knife like so. Now you have to be brave and just uh, cut the original lead off there. Then take the leads apart and just take off the insulation at the end as well. Now let's apply some solder. Make sure that the copper completely soaks up the solder, not just sits on the outside. Now let's cut three short pieces of heat shrink tube. I also like to cover the whole connection point later with one larger piece of heat shrink. Once I put these on the respective leads, I twist the cable again because I had to untwist it to be able to put them on. Again, there are different methods of how to join the leads. Uh, some people twist them together first and then apply solder. I like to do it this way and just hold them parallelly next to each other. And in 25 years of modeling, I've never had a problem with a servo lead being faulty or having come off. So for, it works for me. Okay, they look quite good. And now I can take the heat shrink tube and just slide it back over those joints. Okay, let's shrink them. So. And here we have an extension that won't come apart. If you look at the fuselage now, you find a carbon bridge right here. This is for the receiver, so the cables will have to reach that part. Obviously, you could use a measuring tape or all kinds of methods. I just roughly measure it by looking at it like so. It doesn't really matter if it's a little bit too long. Es gibt Leute, die würden some folks would take that part and solder it back on. I always say, don't be afraid of crimping. I crimp my own plugs and it works fine if you do it carefully. So I have these parts here and a crimp tool, which is this one here. And with that, it works nicely. For this, you want to take a little bit of the insulation off again not as much as when soldering take some of those parts off and they're gold plated in the front there and then take your crimping tool put it in just a couple of clicks and it looks like this twist the cable so no single strands um, end up where you don't want them Put it in carefully, right there. That's good. And then check that it is a good and solid joint. When you've done all three, take the plastic housing of the plug and slide them in all the way. Make sure that they go in all the way. And it has to say click there in the end, see, and then pull on them and see that they don't come out anymore. That's important. There. Sorry, my iPhone camera is a little bit out of focus here, but I think you get the idea. And there we are, a perfect servo plug. If you look at the fuselage here now, I want the servo leads to run through those little holes in the bulkhead there. So what I did is I took the inside of a Bowden cable and ran it through the holes and out the bottom here. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the servos in there and then run the leads out here and with sticky tape connect them to the Bowden lead. Neat, isn't it? Sean recommends not to use the rubber dampeners that normally come with servos that normally come here and there. He says that we would lose some precision if we use them and we really don't need them because the airplane doesn't really vibrate a lot does it so i'm just going to use some screws that are a little bit larger than your normal mini servo screws they're actually 2.6 mil in diameter so i will drill 1.8 mil be very careful when drilling take your time you can break things easily just don't apply very much force the same with the screws when you cut the threads. There is a bit of carbon fiber underneath as well. And so you want to go forth and back and carefully cut that thread. When I'm done with all four, I take them out again, take the servos out because I want to harden the threads. I take a tip like this and we can warm it up a little and then put it onto the CA bottle cut the tip off and that way I can stick that little tip into the holes and apply a little of thin CA to harden the threads. The CA is cured and now be very careful again when you reapply the screws. Okay folks that's it. In the next episode I will show you how to prepare and mount the motor box. Check it out and please also subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye.